Hello friends, it's Sebastian. I hope everything is well for you. Today we're gonna practice on the triad things. Um, for me, to learn uh, the triad, it's really important, but uh, the triad not in this way. Okay, for the swimming, it's cool, but uh, I I'm talk about this kind of things. For example, I you know uh, how to play C F G, for example, but with uh, triads inversion, with spread triads, with uh, it it can it could sound like that. For example, okay, and I just play three triads. C G uh, C F G major, just just that. C major, F major, G major, C major, F major, G major, G major. Sorry, F major, G major, C major. With the voice leadings is really interesting. Okay, when you have uh, major triads. You have uh, three notes. You have, uh, for example, in C major. I'm I'm talking in C major because it's uh, really easier. Okay. Um, you have three notes. You have C as a root. Okay. You have uh, the root could can be different uh, than the bass. Okay. The root is C. The major third is E. The perfect fifth is G, okay? And you have the root position is root major third fifth, like that. When you play your, G, your C major chord, it's, okay? You have the first inversion, the first inversion is third, fifth, root. You have this, this kind of, of stuff you know really well. Uh, if you know Jimi Hendrix, you know this kind of stuff. All right. The, fir the first inversion and the second inversion is the fifth root third, and you have it here, for example. Okay. Okay. G C E. You know this kind of stuff when you play your chord here. You have this. All right. And when with one major one major triad you have nine uh, sorry you have a lot of possibilities uh, I don't know exactly how how many but you have for example you have the three inversion all right and after you can spread the triad like that, like that. And you can't, but uh, when you have this, okay, you you put the second voice at uh, at the octave like that. It gives you, sorry, it gives you three new position. of ideas with this kind of with this kind of stuff okay Okay, it, it can give you really some good ideas. And when you have, uh, you have this position, you can put the second voice in an octave higher, like this one. And after you can take this voice and put it an octave higher too, it gives you uh, three new position. For example, you have this one, 
All right, after you have this one. All right, and after you have this one. It's really, really interesting, okay? Just with a C major triad, you have these nine possibilities. After, you have this one on the three string, the A, D, uh, G string, okay? Uh, sorry. The Hendrix position. All right, and this one, after, you can drop the second voice like like that okay all right and after you can drop the another time all right after you have these three position that everybody knows okay and after you can put the second voice an octave higher it gives you three new position all right and after you have a uh, three position on the three higher strings you know this i think you know that you know it's like a d major but in c this position okay I think it's really, really interesting because it can give you some really cool uh, ideas. Um, for example, I'm, I, I use that every time, uh, for example. It's some can play like a piano with this kind of thing you can For example, it's just an improvisation, but and you have major triads, you have minor triads, you have uh, diminished triads, you have augmented triads, you have sus two or sus four triads, you have phrygian triads, you have lydian triads. There is a ton of material, very interesting material to practice to give you some new ideas and a better knowledge of the neck and uh, it will improve your ears too because when we are guitarists uh, it's 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 harder to, it's hardest to understand the harmony uh, for a guitarist than for a pianist and when you practice like that you can you can think like a pianist, really. Um, I I make other videos with uh, triads, uh, with uh, how how you can um, how you can practice them and how to use them. Uh, basically, the first thing is is to practice all this position and uh, in all keys. All right, to be. Alright, okay. Alright, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> I 
love this kind of thing. It sounds like a G sus4, but it's actually in my head is a G a D sus2. You can mix the triads. You can. You have to. You have to look for uh, your own things. I think uh, it's not. Uh, you have to. The best things to improve your level. I think it's to look for. Really, it's to practice and look for some new new stuff and new sound and and. For example, I love playing with the uh, fourth chord, uh, for example, this kind of, just this kind of things. This, this kind of things is fourth chords, but inverted, okay? And when you have uh, this chord, you have, you have some new, um, some new things. All this kind of stuff is just fourth chords. All right? It's uh, it's when you love something, you have to look for all the inversion, all the possibilities. You have to to into integrate this to your playing. I love this kind of stuff and To mix with the triads, etc., et and uh, with everything. <laughs> For example, I hope, uh, guys, I hope everything, uh, I hope you liked uh, it, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.